What's up YouTube? It's your boy Javon Stunner coming to you again with another video and here we have the October 2011 edition MacBook Pro. This is the 15 inch that I showed you in my last video that I got. Um, I sold my 2010, I guess it was 2010, yeah 2010 version, um, 17 inch and I opted for the newer Actually, it was a 20. It was a 2009 version. Excuse me, uh, 17 inch, and opted for the 2011 uh, October version of the MacBook Pro. And I know a lot of people are gonna say, "Why did I get a computer now when they may be changing the design finally in April, March of 2012?" Um, I got one for a couple of reasons now. Number one is because. Uh, the quad-core processor is what I need to edit and do a lot of things that I do for work and for play and I, I, I kind of like the form factor of the 15 and I don't mind this body style regardless of how many iterations it's been through so uh, you know even if they do come out with a new body style which I suspect they will um, I, I'm not you know upset with what I currently have and I've had like four different versions of this body style and I liked all of them. Um, the other thing is is that I, I don't know how I feel about the way the MacBook Air, how thin it is and that's what they say the new MacBook Pros might be uh, modeled after so we'll just have to wait and see. Um, I'm not saying I don't like them, I just don't know and you know I can't comment on something that doesn't exist yet so we'll just have to see. Um, but um, this computer has a lot of potential. Um, stock, this one only came with 4 gig of RAM and it came with the 750 gig, 7200 RPM drive. Um, don't know exactly what I want to do with it in terms of all the guts yet, but uh, I am going to, in this video, if you've read the title, up the RAM and I'm going to do something with the hard drive. I hadn't decided if I'm going to do uh, smaller solid state for my programs and then do the uh, OptiBay and with the OptiBay do a do the set put the uh, 750 in there for storage hadn't decided if I'm gonna do that or if I'm gonna go with something more along the lines of the Seagate Momentous which is the kind of Frankenstein half uh, SSD have standard hard drive uh, that a lot of people have been raving about say it's a good thing it's kind of the best of both worlds and, and the driving factor is price um, if I I don't want to really go with a small SSD uh, I want one a big one but when you start talking 500 600 gigabyte SSDs you start talking thousands of dollars or at least a thousand bucks they get really expensive so and it just depends on what you want to do so um, I, I don't know yet uh, so I'm only gonna open this one up looks like twice maybe three times depending on which hard drive I go with so for the purposes of this video let's see what we got from our friends at at Newegg um, they were nice enough to send us um, 16 gig course of RAM that will go in here and this is the DDR3 and this is, if you look here at the bottom, two 8 gigabyte sticks. And this is pretty cool. So, yeah, we should, we're, we're gonna unbox this RAM, which is just really not much to unbox here. But we're gonna open it up and we're gonna see what we got in this, in this package. Um, this RAM was on a great sale. First, let's get ready to flip the computer over. It is off so we can work on it. Um, this RAM was on an awesome sale for the holidays at like nothing. It literally cost me like shit. Hold on guys, I'll be back. Let me go get some scissors. I'm actually not going to use my knife. I'm going to use scissors because it shows scissors there. To cut through this, so I'll get some scissors, cut this up, and stand by. All right, guys, so check it out. Zoom up, let y'all get a get an eye full. Um, want to grab some scissors so we can cut this guy open, as <laughs> instructions dictate. 
But what I was saying is this was at an insanely cheap price. If you ordered it before the first of the year, um, you got this memory module for, I believe it was 174 bucks, which is just stupid. <laughs> um, so I hope it works. I did a ton of research to see if it in fact does work and a lot of people online who are using it says says it works say it works great no problems um, cheers you know all kind of good things about this particular RAM so um, I've used a lot of different RAM but I've never used Corsa before so but they say but they say uh, that they've had some good results with it so we are going to pop it in and hopefully have some uh, good results. Got all the screws out. Hopefully we're going to pop it open any second now. And it opens right up. Um, pretty easy. And it looks exactly as I thought it would look inside. Um. Let's get, you, uh, get over here. Sorry, sorry, guys. Uh, I'm trying to get a little closer so you can see the memory module. What we're gonna be working on, which is right here, this is super easy to get out. Basically, lift and pop, lift and pop. Do the same technique twice, and. We're going to do the reverse twice, and that will reseat our our uh, RAM. We hope. So let me get a little closer so I can make sure I don't pick this up. The bottom one's always the most peculiar of the two. That one's in pretty good. We'll get this top one seated. And once you get it in, that's it. Both are flush. That was it. Here's my other rim. And you've got there was this was Two two gig sticks, and we replaced it with two eight gig sticks. So we're done. So it took us longer to unscrew it than it took to put the actual RAM in. Go figure. That's good that we got the Apple screen. Sixteen gig RAM upgrade. If you got any questions. Please let me know. Um, that didn't take long at all. That's all I got, guys. Hopefully, we'll be doing a hard drive the next time on this one. And we'll see what else I got in stuff for you on the computer front. That's all we got. Itchy. Out.